What's going on everybody? If you're new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and let's get it. So, we either click it can wait for tomorrow. I already know what have a bath is. It can wait for tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. I like to have a bath, but I feel pretty tired. I think I'll postpone it until tomorrow. I yawn, blinking tears from my eyes. Then undress and settle down beneath my sheets. Oh, they're gonna bang 100%. I'll have to like cut this out. I fall asleep in seconds, lulled by the soft, not so distant sound of the ocean. Wow, I was wrong, everybody. Alright. So, if you're gonna ask. <laughs> Damn it, looks like I'll have to really. How am I gonna explain this? So, if we do. Alright, let's have a bath. And I'll just censor the crap out of it. Maybe just the top part. You know? Just one. Okay, going back to the game. It's a horrible idea, by the way. Fuck me. Yeah, I can't really put this off. I feel gross. Upsy daisy. I heave myself up with no small amount of effort and slap my cheeks with both hands to spur myself on. Let's do this. Let me try to have one one ear open instead of you know my headphones. So I can check if my voice is properly you know heard or not it might sound childish but i'm pretty excited to use my in suit in bathroom it looks pretty fancy there's nothing like a nice hot bath to ease your aches and pains hmm. Hmm -hmm. i hum to myself while lathering my body with soap i've already filled the deep tub with hot water though i've yet to get into it steam exudes from the surface of the bath making the air hot and muggy my skin prickles beneath the sponge I'm using to wipe my bare skin. I can feel the stress melting off me already. <laughs> I continue to hum as I scrub. I'm humming idly. Idle game. Idly. Idle. Idly. Idly? Idly. Yeah. Without any particular tune in mind. But soon it, it occurs to me I have heard this song somewhere before. It's one of Ayu's songs, which came out a couple of months ago. It shot right to, it shot right to the top of the charts, and it was on the radio all the time. I'm not a huge fan of girly, energetic pop music myself, but Ayu's songs are pretty catchy. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I finish soaping my legs, then set to the sp set the sponge to one side. Set to the sponge. What the heck? I think that just that just do about does it. I just need I just need to shampoo my hair then I can get into the into the tub. I reach for the ba a bottle of shampoo sitting beside me minding my own business when Huh and there we go. Cut to black editor. Cut it. Cut this thing. Like just end it. Oh it's okay there's still not. My attention is alerted by the distinct sound of the door being pulled ahar. Afar? It's supposed to be a far. Is somebody coming inside the bathroom? Somebody is gonna come, you know? Three of them, to be exact. Or four of them. Yeah. But why? If it's an intruder, I doubt I'd be able to fight them off. I'm completely naked. I whip my head up, my eyes wide. Alright. You know what? I won't censor this part. I'll skip right ahead. I'll be seeing you in the... Not next episode. I'm just cutting it. Cutting it. Okay? Alright. Alright, welcome back. What's up? What's going on? And yeah, they did it. They banged. Um, they did all of it. So, I'm not really gonna explain anymore. It was a foursome, I guess. A force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'm roused from my bed early the next morning by the scent of something delicious. Yep, this is where we stop. I rise, then wash my face and brush my teeth in my end suite bathroom. Yes, we get it, Hiroki. It's a nice pad, fam. After getting dressed, I then descend to the ground floor, guided by the mouth-watering smell. It leads me as a shepherd might lead the sheep, leaving me powerless to resist. When I arrive in the open-plan kitchen living area, I'm greeted with a cozy sight. I ain't reading those words, fam. Yifumi is standing by the stove, stirring a large pot of miso soup. 
She's wearing the same casual clothes she wore yesterday with her dark tresses tied back into untidy pigtails. Her pink t-shirt is a bit on the baggy side and it's slipping down to reveal an ample amount of her creamy white shoulder. Alright, very descriptive. Upon her snub nose are perch, a pair of glasses, the lenses of which are slightly steamy. Well, she be cooking. I've seen I've seen Hifumi cook before. But oh wait, no, that makes no sense. I've seen Hifumi cooking before, but that was way back when we were staying the Ryokan. 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 Ryo. And I butchered the pronunciation, yeah. The interior there was classically Japanese as well as you know, as was Hifumi's attire. Her hair straight and dark, her body enrobed in a richly patterned kimono. She's giving off quite a different impression now, but it's not a bad one. Hmm? It's nice seeing Hifumi like this. I mean, I believe everybody likes seeing Hifumi, you know? <laughs> hey, Hifumi! Oh, hello, Hiroki. Did you just wake up? Yeah, I'm still kinda tired after the, the G Bang we, we all had. Oh, wait, no, she wasn't part of it. It was. Marna, Ayu, and Cosmos, if any of you were wondering. Alright, I suppress a yawn with one hand which makes Hifumi giggle. You must have been in a hurry to come downstairs, your hair is all messed up. Let me... Oh. Hifumi turns the heat down to the stove, then approaches. She reaches up on tiptoes and adjusts my hair accordingly, her fingertips brushing against my scalp. There we go. She steps back to admire her handiwork, smiling as she does so. You look better now, very handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, you look good too. When you wear a kimono, it makes you seem like a well-to-do housewife. But right now, your vibes are more like those of a kind big sister. A big sister? Well, well. Ifumi giggles. And this is the part, this is another episode in which... Yeah, I re this is a re-record because the audio was effed up. I hope not that the audio for this one is not effed up. If it is, well, crap. Okay, I suppose I suppose that is not far from the truth. I like to think of myself as an older sister to the younger succubi. But I've never been addressed in such a manner by a man. Why don't we try it? Can you call me Big Sis, Hiroki? Well, she is Big Sis. Look at those melons. Sure, if that's what you want. Um. <clears throat> Good morning, big sis. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah, I'm not. I don't know how to read that without sounding really dumb. Ifumi squeaks as though she's been poked with a pin and presses both hands to her cheeks. They're starting to turn red. Did I embarrass her? Are you okay, Ifumi? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I'm just um, trying to compose myself. <laughs> I like being called Big Sis by Cosmos and Ayu. Though Ayu rarely plays along, the naughty girl. But being called by called it by you, but being called it by you is quite pecul peculiar. 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 In a bad way? Oh my god, Hiroki is a dense effer. Or is he playing dumb? Who knows? No, in a good way. I fear it might have been too good, in fact. I'm all tingly now. <laughs> Whoa, are we starting a new banger session or something? Perhaps you ought to stick to calling me Fumi after all. Now, do you want to sample some of my miso soup? I think it's almost ready. It'd be my pleasure. Hifumi, la ladies, a bit of miso soup, I'm sorry. Hifumi ladles a bit of miso soup into a spoon and holds it out to me. I slurp the soup obligingly and let its flavor spread across my tongue. It's every bit as delicious, it's not more as the miso soup Hifumi made when we were staying at the Ryokan. It's rich, but not too rich. It's, uh, it's, a mid it's middle class, you know, and the consistency is perfect. I could get addicted to this. Do you like it? Does it, perchance, need more seasoning? Nah, it's just alright. That is a relief. Thank you for being my guinea pig, my dear Hiroki. <laughs> it's no prob. So, I glance around the kitchen. Are we the only ones here? Let me just double check. What time is it? 10 minutes. So we're good. 
and they'll be cut so we still have like five minutes here i saw hazel earlier when i came downstairs she said she, she said she was heading out for a jog i think the others are still asleep though they should oh wait i think the others are still asleep though they should come down soon oh they be coming all right ifumi and i chatter together companionably while she tends to the rest of the cooking Hazel comes back from her jog damp with sweat. Ooh, at some point during our conversation, she greets us both brightly and then heads up to her bedroom for a shower. She all but runs up the stairs and slams her bedroom door behind her, which rouses the rest of the succubi. They trail into the kitchen one by one. First Marna, then Ayu, then the freshly showered Hazel. Cosmo is the last to turn up, but she isn't in her casual clothes like the rest. I think this is another part where I have to like censor crap out of it you know she's already changed into her swimsuit it's rather cute i'll bait i'll bait i'll bait skimpy and it's complete with a pair of cat ears and a tail i wonder if they'll get in the way of her swimming uh, most likely no i don't have much of a chance to ponder this however before cosmos is soon upon me both arms link through mine definitely have to like censor some of these parts you know Hiroki, Hiroki, what do you think of my or I just won't monetize the video. Very easy peasy, right? Hiroki, Hiroki, what do you think of my swimsuit? Isn't it cute? I picked it out just for you. Yeah, it's uh, very adorable. I like all the ruffles. If you ask me what's the other option, what's gonna happen? I believe I did it uh, in the end of a video that you will not be seeing because the other is messed up. She pretty much gets all kind of sad e. Yeah. Hey, I knew you would. You're a man of discerning taste. Well, we are all cultured here. Cosmos puffs out her chest proudly. I might actually cut this. Cosmos puffs out her chest proudly. The bikini is styled after a maid's uniform. It's got a collar and a ribbon with cute little cuffs in the bottom part supposed to look like an apron. They don't have stuff like this in normal stores, so I had to order it from a specialty place online. Also, I had to cut some stuff out, sorry, I had to do something. I, I wanted to cut the whole thing out, but then I remembered, oh wait, this whole game is a beach episode arc. It's pretty much not playable. I think it looks super cute. You would say that. I use scuffs. Personally, I think it looks gaudy. Gaudy? Am I correct? Somebody correct me. And it doesn't even fit properly, it's too small for you. There, that criticism seems a bit rich coming from Ayu. I've seen her in a swimsuit before and that skimpy gold thing she wore was rather form-fitting. Comparatively, I think Cosmo's pseudo-made swimsuit fits better. But catch me trying to antagonize Ayu? It's too early in the morning for that. Yeah, we don't want to be arguing in the morning. What's with the ears and the tail anyway? How do they fit the maid theme? They fit because I'm a cat maid, duh, stupid! <laughs> Cosmos giggles and curls her hands in, into imitation paws. May I take your order, meowster? Meow, meow. Well, that was cringe for me. Ah, I oppose a face. That's so tacky. Cut it out. You're putting me off of my breakfast. You're putting me off my breakfast. Sorry about that. You shouldn't be even be in your swimsuit right now. We're not on the beach yet. I know, but I wanted to show Hiroki my swimsuit so much I couldn't wait. I had to put it on right now. I want my meowster to compliment me and call me cute and give me lots of head pats. I'm a good kitty mate, so I think I deserve it. Meow meow. This episode is gonna be slightly longer. You're the meows. Ad you're the most adorable kitty ever made ever, Cosmos. I buttered that sentence. I ruffle. I ruffle the top of Cosmos' head, which makes her purr in delight. I, you meanwhile, scowls. Don't encourage her, please. You're both acting like morons here. You mean meow meow rons? Ugh. Ayu turns her back on me, then resumes eating her breakfast. She stabs her fried mackerel with her chopsticks with a bit too much strength. Her shoulders stiff. You just wait, stupid Hiroki. I look much, much cuter in my swimsuit than Cosmos does, and I'm not half the tryhard she is. You'll eat your words when you see me. Really? I'm looking forward to it. I gently shake Cosmos off my arm and begin to eat my own breakfast. As I do, I glance about the succubi assembled around the dining table. I've already seen Cosmos in her bikini and I think I'll probably wear the golden one she did in her photo shoot. But I've yet to see Marna, Hifumi, and Hazel in their beach wear. We all want to see it. I wonder what swimsuits they've picked out. 
Ifumi will probably go with something traditional, Marna will do something expensive and elegant, and Hazel tends to prefer sporty, practical clothes. Simply speculating about it is fun. I can't wait till we hit the we hit we hit the beach. And we did. I'll cut I'll cut this off right here. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. If not, stick around. I'll be doing um, episode 8 of being a dick. Oh my god, there's a there's a lot of games on my plate right now, but yeah. I might do double uploads again, but it would be less edits pretty much. I it would just be cut, 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 and then just put it out there, you know. Other than that, thank you for watching and see you later. Bye.